Hi everyone, Mrs. Landau here. Welcome to third grade. This is our virtual Bitmoji classroom. You can access this room by going to our Google Classroom. Make sure you're in Mrs. Landau's class. Look on the left-hand side at Topics and go to Virtual Classroom, and you'll be able to be taken directly to this page. All right, I want to show you everything that you can access at our homeroom, which is the room you're currently looking at, and then I'll take you through a couple other slides. Um, if you click Welcome to Third Grade, you'll be taken to our welcome letter. By clicking Schedule, you'll be able to see a copy of our third grade schedule for the year. THA will take you to our main Tucson Hebrew Academy homepage. Videos will take you directly to my YouTube channel. Curriculum will take you to our third grade curriculum guide. ELA, of course, will take you to our English language arts classroom. Now in this classroom, if you click read, you'll be taken to a website that you each have an individual account for called Epic. You'll enter your class code, select your name, and enter your PIN number, and you'll basically have a virtual library at your fingertips. When you click My View Literacy, you'll be taken to the new page that we'll be using this year to log into My View. It looks exactly like it did last year, but the URL, the web address up here, is actually different. Notice the leveled library. When you click the leveled library, it will take you to another room, and this is another additional resource of a leveled library. So for example, if I knew that I was working on reading level P, I could click level P, and I'd be taken again to the website called Epic, but this time I'm directed to all of their level P books. Okay, so we're going to close out of these and go back to our ELA classroom. One other thing that I want to make sure I point out is this. It's right over here where we see the pencils. If you go ahead and click this, you'll be taken to our writer's workshop. You can click any of these slides. You'll notice that we have the writing process here. You can click these posters. Every time you click something in these rooms, you'll either be taken to a video or you'll be taken to another slide explaining the different steps of the writing process. Make sure you click around in these rooms. Every single thing in each of these rooms just about has a link. So that should be something fun for you to explore. Back at our main homeroom, go ahead and click math, and you'll be taken to our third grade Engage New York math page. Engage New York is the exact same thing as Eureka, so those two names are interchangeable. You can see that I can flip through just by clicking and I can go to the next slide. We have seven modules in third grade math and on each of these pages all of these binders on the left hand side link to videos that correlate to the lessons. There are posters that you can click on too and then what you'll notice on every single little board at the bottom is that we have parent tips. We also have a link to CERN, which each of you have an account to. We have a link to another page, which will take you to virtual math manipulatives. So for example, if we were in the classroom, I might have all of these things handy for you to use. Dice, pattern blocks, fake money, counters, but since we're not actually in the classroom right now, you can click on any of these things and you'll be taken to a virtual version of that. So you have all of these tools right at your fingertips. The equation 3 times 4 equals 12, if you click that, it will take you to online flashcards. I highly recommend working on multiplication and division in third grade. You can also have access to Cool math games. These are some really fun games that kind of challenge your thinking. And last but not least, we also have math game time. And I've linked you directly to the third grade games. Okay. Back at our main classroom, if you click social studies, we'll be taken to our studies weekly room. You are going to see the link at the top, Studies Weekly. will take you directly to the Studies Weekly website. We have a link for Discovery Education. 
and then some other fun social studies websites such as Ducksters. which has a lot of history, biographies, geography, <clears throat> social studies for kids. Similar to Dexter's, just another site for you to explore. And history for kids. Now in the social studies room, I've also linked United States map, an online atlas for kids. So you can pretty much click anywhere, zoom in, and get a summary or more information about the country that you're currently looking at. And I've also linked at the globe a world map. All right, going back to our homeroom. Last but not least is science. And when you go to our science classroom, if you click science, you will be taken to the mystery science lesson for the week. And each of these vials or beakers down here takes you somewhere else as well. National Geographic, science for kids. Science for Kids Club. Lots of experiments that you can take a look at on here. Different science categories that you can explore. Again, Dexter's also a great resource for science. I love that this is broken apart by scientific category for you. So if you are really interested in animals, you might want to click the animal section and choose an animal to start exploring a little bit more about. pbskids.org, this is their specific science page. And what I like is that when you scroll down, there are even more science and nature shows. So of course, this is something that you could access with permission from a guardian at home, but they're all kid friendly. And last but not least, Mr. Nussbaum. So Mr. Nussbaum is a really great resource. It's kind of like Dexter's, but I love all of these topics that are somehow related to science. So if you are interested in science, this is a great site for you to explore. All right, back at our homeroom, one other thing that I wanna point out, let's say you're ready to just get to those math manipulatives. I've also linked that at the clock because after all the clock is a math tool that helps us to tell time. All right, please reach out to me if you need anything. If I end up adding more links to any of our classrooms, I'll be sure to notify you. If you try to click on something and it's not working, or if you click on something and it takes you somewhere you don't think you should be, let me know. I hope you guys have fun with our Bitmoji classroom.